All right, what's up, everybody? Um, I had a friend ask me about installing mods specifically for Don't Starve, but this some of this can be used for other games when I go over the Steam Workshop stuff because there's a handful of games, more actually more than a handful of games, quite a few games that that use Steam Workshop now, where you can download mods directly from there, and it's really simple, but anyways what you want to do go to your library find the game that you're let's see don't starve you'll see when you click on it steam workshop here you can browse the workshop and I've already got several of these downloaded but pick one that you want charcoal burner click on that all you gotta do is click the green subscribe button and it'll tell you that it's been added to your subscriptions it'll give you a description of all the mod, what the mods do down here below but anyway that's all you do so you're subscribed to this mod now uh... you can go through there's it, this game was just added on the steam workshop so there's not quite as many mods available on the Steam Workshop right now since it's fairly new on the Workshop. Uh, there's also another place where you can get mods, probably several places, but another place I know of that's good to find mods is this forums at clayentertainment.com. Uh, scroll down to the mods and tools and I think to download mods from this site you have to register I mean it's free just register just like any other forum but it's free to do you wanna click once you go into the mods and tools forum click on downloads uh, and it divides it up into categories over here for you what's new you can scroll through there see what else new what the highest rated things, most watched, top authors, all that stuff. Uh, let's say we wanted to download RPG HUD version 4.0. Click on that. Uh, some mods, this green download button is what you click. Some mods, as soon as you click that, it's going to start downloading it. This one has a few different choices several different choices oh, so you can decide which one is best for you go back out here and just have to read this stuff to see which one you want but anyways download that and it'll put it into your downloads folder on your desktop let's see actually um, let's see there. There's where I've already downloaded it. RPG HUD. You're gonna need WinRAR or 7-Zip or something like that. One of those, one of those type programs. You're gonna open it with. Uh, I use WinRAR. It'll give you this folder here. You're going to C drive program files 86. Um, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, and find Don't Starve. Um, once you've unzipped that file that you downloaded, it'll give you this. Once you get into the Don't Starve folder, there's a folder called <laughs> a folder called Mods. Open that up just take this and drag it straight into here and it'll do it. I'm not going to do it. I've already got it in there, but that's all you got to do to 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 download it from that other site. Um once you get everything downloaded that you want downloaded, when you first start up Don't Starve, there's a little option for mods here. It'll take it a few seconds to load up everything or more than a few seconds I've got a lot of mods uh, it'll give you 
a list of all your mods here. You can click the arrow down and up, but you have to go through the first time at least and enable each one you want enabled. Uh, like this backpack amulet mod is already enabled. You can turn them on and off anytime you want. Um, you always want to make sure that your mods are up to date. This game updates really frequently. Like since I've had it, it's, I would say an average of once every two weeks this game updates, and so that means that you have to update your mods along with the game, or they won't work. Some of them will carry over and work with the new updates, but most of them don't. You have to update them, and I'm not really sure on the Steam Workshop. If you download them from the Steam Workshop, they might automatically update when the game does. I'm not sure about that, but but you can see this one here is out of date. And if you try to run an out of date mod nine times out of ten, the game will just crash and you'll have to go back out. But anyways, once you enable all the mods you want, just click OK, click play, and you should be good to go from there. And uh, that's that's about it. I probably didn't do the greatest job of explaining some of these things, so if there's any questions or anything, just leave a comment, and I'll see what I can do about helping you. All right, guys. See you.